All right, so we talked about nature, and I mentioned sunlight. I've mentioned sunlight a few times throughout this course, but let's talk about it a little more specific in specific specifics. Sunlight is extremely important because it is the father spirit of Earth. Now, mother, the mother spirit is Mother Earth or Gaia. Um, I usually refer to her as Mother Earth. The father is the sun, and he's the father because his energy hits the earth and allows the earth to create. It's his energy that gives the earth the energy to create. And then she's the mother because she births the life on earth. And this happens in many levels of the universe. Something created the sun. He has a mother and a father. Something created beyond that, something created beyond that, energetically speaking, so forth and so on. The sun creates, or gives the energy to create, sorry, and the, the earth creates us. It is important for us to respect that dynamic, to understand that, that we are part of them, and that the sun is important in our vibration because it is the source of energy on earth. It is the purest form of energy to hit the earth, to feed the earth. So what we use the sun for is to raise our vibration. And this is very easy to see with people who are depressed. One of the things that a medical practitioner will recommend to somebody who's depressed is, are you getting sunlight? Go get sunlight. Why? Because just the sunlight will boost you out of a depression and will help, will help motivate you because you're getting pure energy. Now, they won't explain it from that standpoint. They'll explain it from the standpoint of it hits your body, it turns into vitamin D or it does X, Y, Z and psychologically helps. But there's a spiritual portion of this that it is pure energy and it is feeding your spiritual field with pure high vibrational energy. So we need to go out into the sunlight to receive that energy. I mean, think about it, if you're indoors, like I am during the winter, if you're indoors and you haven't been outside for a week, other than maybe to go to your car to go to work, if you haven't spent time outside, try to go outside, spend 20 minutes minimum to an hour walking in sunlight with skin exposed very important skin exposed hands in the winter it's my hands my head neck you know it's harder in the winter but skin exposed absorbs the sunlight the sun will often ask me i'll, I'll do my affirmations and gratitudes and thank the sun and that spirit will often ask me as I connect with him, put your hands up, make sure your palms are facing me. So however I'm walking, I might, my hands will be upside down when I'm walking, but I'll have my palms facing the light as I'm walking forward or facing behind me as I'm walking if the sun is behind me and absorbing the energy through my hands. It's a way of charging your battery, so to speak, giving you motivation, lifting you up. Not just the nutrients of our body, but the spiritual energy. And when we're in sunlight, a lot of our downloads, a lot of our divine team are able to work more easily because it's high vibrational energy. So like when I go for a walk in the sun, I take my phone with me usually now. I used to take a, a notepad, but now I use the notes on my phone. I'll walk and it's about 20 minutes of me walking in sunlight when it's clear, crystal clear. 20 minutes of me walking in sunlight, I can feel it charging my field. I can feel it all around me. And I imagine my field spinning spinning clockwise in the sun hitting it and just filling that field with energy it's hitting my hands filling me with energy i'm telling it i'm grateful i, I usually run through statements i'm grateful for 
this. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the sun. All my gratitude statements. Things that come off the top of my head. I usually don't have them memorized. I try to think of new things and do that while the energy is flowing. Sometimes I do affirmations. I am affirmations because that energy is good to work in. That spiritual energy, high vibrational. And about 20 minutes in, it's like my vibration shifts so much and I'm out of that state of gratitude, affirmations, etc. My guys will just hammer me with downloads from that energy. I can feel the energy through my crown pouring in because of the sunlight. It's a lot easier during the summer because I get more of it so it happens all throughout the day. But in the winter when I'm closed indoors, I still have my experiences and my downloads but I've noticed when I'm in the sunlight, I get far more and I get slammed with them. The reels, when I have to do, do reel recordings, I try to walk in the sunlight first because then they just pour in, do this reel, do that reel, do this one, do that one, prepare for these subjects. The sunlight raises our vibration to where we can work closer to our guides, our divine team, source energy, you know, source energy coming through. A lot of that's from the sunlight too. So working with it is important, extremely important, far more than people realize. Meditating in the sunlight, laying on the grass in the sunlight, walking in the sunlight, spending more than five minutes a day in sunlight, if you can. You know, sometimes climates don't allow it. But if you can, spend that time. That's part of why when I talk about things like exercise and I talk about other, other subjects and I say, do you really need your car to go somewhere? Or can you walk the mile to the store and carry everything back? Because if you walk a mile, miles about a 20 minute walk for me. I have long legs, a little, probably a little longer for people who are shorter than me, but 20 minute walk, 20, 25 minutes probably, for depending on who you are, it's not that long. If you walk to the grocery store for 20, 25 minutes in sunlight, you've just gotten a decent amount and then you walk back, you're getting more. You know, what are you doing in your life that you can shift to allow yourself more sunlight? Are you able to eat outside? One of my favorite things to do in the summer, spring, fall, rather than go to a restaurant and eat, if you're buying fast food, if you're buying fast casual, or even if you're eating at a restaurant, sitting down at tables or taking it back to your office to eat it, sit outside, go to a park, go somewhere into nature, get some sunlight while you're eating. You know, do things, exercise outside, walk, ride a bike, run, whatever it is you like to do for exercise. But get sunlight, incorporate it into your day. Don't just think, what am I going to do today? Don't just think, am I going to exercise? Think, how am I going to get sunlight today? What can I do to get sunlight today? The more you do that, the happier you'll feel, the more energized you'll feel, the more protected you'll feel. The sunlight feeds our spiritual protections, feeds our grid. It's like giving, it's like a battery of energy that we pull from. It raises our vibration with the source, the energy that comes from it. It lifts us to higher states of being, puts us in easier connection with other beings, other realms, downloads, activations clears our field of negative energy, helps heal us, can be a guide if you want to talk to the sun. But it can do all kinds of things that if you're not utilizing it, it's an important aspect to start asking yourself every day, how can I include sunlight in my journey? And it doesn't have to be four hours a day, 20 minutes. Try to get at least 15 to 20 minutes a day. For me, when it looks nice like this out during the winter, I instantly go, oh, I'm going for a walk today and I go for an hour walk or more and just walk around 
town in the sunlight. During the summer, I'm in the parks, I'm in nature, I'm all over the place. But during the winter, just going for a walk using the sidewalks is plenty. Letting it, you know, bask in it type of thing. And even today I went out, there's snow on the ground, there's a glare that I couldn't I couldn't see, I was blind while I was walking, but I still walked for about what I, I did what I could, 20 minutes, 10, 15 minutes down, 10, 15 minutes back to get my sunlight, did my affirmations, did my gratitude because it was there. And I knew I need to get more sunlight. I come back, I feel happier, I feel more energized. I sat down to do my videos, which I was struggling when I got up this morning thinking, man, I'm just, I don't have the energy. But I went outside, I walked. You're not only getting sunlight, you're moving in that, that case. You're moving, you're letting energy flow, which is part of why moving in sunlight is important too, because you're shifting your body, you're letting energy flow through you. You're not just sitting. Meditating in sunlight is very powerful, very, very powerful. But moving, mind, body, soul, moving. You don't have to meditate and just close your eyes. You can move and talk to the sun and the spirits and even experience other worlds while you're walking, while you're exercising. So whole point, it's very easy. You already know it. How are you going to incorporate sunlight into your journey? It helps fulfill part of the goal of being in nature. It helps fulfill part of the goal of exercise if you want to use it that way. Even diet. If you go to places where you can get good food and go sit in sunlight while you're eating it, to give you motivation that I'm going to eat healthy and I'm going to sit in the sun and enjoy myself. It can help fulfill many things, but it raises your vibration and it puts you in connection to other beings. It raises you out of depression, clears your field, helps us in a variety of ways. So go get some sunlight. If you haven't today, look outside. If there's sunlight, ask yourself, how can I incorporate, the, incorporate this into my day? Even just sitting in it, if you have a balcony, sitting in it for five minutes. I recommend 15 to 20 minimum because that's about how long it takes before my, when I'm in sunlight, it's like the, it's like you're clearing, you're restoring, you're rejuvenating. And then after that 15 minutes period of time, that's when you really start connecting because all of the base stuff you have to do is cleared. But do what you can, get some sunlight, raise those nutritional levels of vitamin D and other things and raise your spiritual vibration. It will help you immensely. It is a tool and not one that is to be taken lightly. It is here, it is our Father. It is the source of our energy, the creator of the energy that was given and is continuously given to Mother Earth for her to birth more, more beings, more life. So respect the sun, work with it, and add it into your day as much as you can. Thank you again for watching. I'm grateful for each and every one. Ask questions as always, and I love you all.